Hi, my name is Marlena. I'm the one who starts uh, Lengkok Baru Community Fridge. It serves my neighbours and community that stays in rental unit. To be honest with you, every community has their food insecurities. I start in Lengkok Baru is because this is where I stay. There's not much resources out there that can provide like emergency food ration. One day I just, you know, do my research on Google to see how community fridge works. And then I went around to ask questions with my neighbours. We had a chat and I'd say that, hey, I have a crazy idea. I'm going to go and approach an organisation to donate fridge to me. I want to open up a community fridge. And the recipient has to volunteer. Not just take, but they also have to volunteer. So at first, I got $300 from a non-profit organisation to maximise the amount I would, ha would have to go to JB to purchase all the item. For the marketing day, my husband even take half day left. We reached in JB at 8am, came back around 12 noon. I would have to like whole day, do the segregation, arrange and everything. It takes me about 8 hours to complete the whole thing. I realised it's not sustainable. So I proposed to the non-profit to raise up a little bit more so that we can purchase it in Singapore. Collectively, the ingredients, we brainstormed within our group chat and then we got the donors to transfer the fund to us and then I go and purchase all this. I do stocking up, it's always in the middle of the month. So when I started this project, I served only 30 families. Now it has grown to 50 families. This area is mainly for children. It's not that easy to motivate the children here to go to school on time and every day. So what happened is that morning from Monday to Friday, from 6 a.m. to 7.30 a.m., the children can come here and collect their milk. Before they collect, they will have to take this marker, write their name, and if their name is there, they just have to tick. These ticks indicate the days of they go to school. So if they tick like five, for five days, right, I will see who got the full attendance. And then the next following Monday, I'll be giving them a reward. Have I see? No. Because now I've had a right to. Now go. To build a community project and to sustain it, it's going to be tough at first. If you have the heart, the passion, just do it and don't give up.